Beside classic red ochre, a striking deep black, a new addition to the colour palette honed by this master from Millingimbi. That's her favourite, like, in her heart. It's helped earn Margaret Raul Garawura first prize in the Nazias for this sweeping pandana sail, like those on canoes that visited Arnhem Land long before white settlement. The grandfather, the father, as our father, to show them how to make this tumula. Six other winners picked from over 200 entries are hanging among the 63 finalists gathered together in Darwin. Here, the incredibly old stand beside the brand new. Works from across the country and all different styles of visual art. This year celebrated with what's now the biggest art prize pool in Australia, with first place equal with the famous Archibald Prize. I think it really shows a commitment to celebrating these artists and understanding that the vibrancy of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander artists, arts practice, um, is at a global scale and that the prize pool needs to reflect and respect that. Walking through this exhibition really is a privilege and awe-inspiring from seeing the calibre of work on display and also the range in Aboriginal art from cutting edge video pieces to very traditional practices handed down from generation to generation to generation. But at the moment, you have to be here in Darwin to see it. Unlike some of the other major art prizes in the country, this one doesn't travel around yet. Taking the works on a national tour is something the organisers say they dream of. For me, I think touring and sharing works is such an important way of engaging with more people and people are understanding how important these awards are. For now, the exhibition can be viewed online from around the country. Jacqueline Breen, ABC News.